Welcome back. Right now, what we have is our running character. We've got our animations and we've got some, our setup kind of organized. We've got some camera lag, we're good to go. What we're gonna do now is we're going to create a new level because we've been using this wonky thing for a while that sort of uses our assets. So before we have all these sprites. Now I actually brought in all the tileable sprites. I don't know if I deleted this part or not, but we're gonna get rid of those because we're not gonna use those. We're gonna actually use the asset though. Remember this tile set we brought in? All right, good. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have applied our paper texture setting so that it's nice and crisp, so we can see it. it, should be nice and crisp. Now remember, each one of these tiles was a 16 by 16 square. So we have 16, four across and four down. Uh, so that's 64 pixels. We're actually going to create a tile set, which is down here. So create tile set. All right, and when we do that, I'm going to change the name to, let's delete it and call level one, level one tile set. Okay, cool, sweet. All right, so now I'm going to double click it and check it out. So in here is our tile set window. And what we can do here is we can actually see how big our tiles are. Right now it sets default to 32 because that's what we use for our Apple. But in this case, we use 16. So change it to 16 by 16 down here, hit enter. And now you'll see that these fit more logically with everything else. Now, what we need to do is our tiles need to have collision. So the way we set that is by adding this button here to see which ones have collision, which ones don't, so we don't lose track, is so we press this button here, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna add simple box collision to all of my tiles that are box-ish, which are most of them. However, you may have a tile that looks like this one, right? And this one is not as boxy, okay? It's sort of like a weird pentagon shape. So in this case, I'm going to have to add a polygon, okay? I wanna make sure my snapping is turned on, right? And I wanna make sure my snap grid is set to one because I definitely want it to snap, okay? so. I can click, start clicking here, all right? And then I can click here, down here. And then I can click here. And then notice it gets weird, but we'll deal with it in a second. So I'm gonna click the other edge right there. And then I'm gonna click the other edge, right? Try and make it as straight as possible and line it up as straight as possible on that other axis. Boom. All right, good. And then click here to close it. All right. So I can select the vertex and move it around. So if I click this one and move it that way, I can move it over here. Click this one and move it this way. I want to make sure that everything is convex or organized, right? So I can snap that to there and then this the snap there. Okay, so now I've got my fancier shape. Now a lot of stuff I'm just gonna stick with the box. This one's actually an easy box. We just take this and move it down. Doop, 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 like that. And now I've got this, add a box. This one will be the same as the other one. I'm gonna add polygon, click up here, go across the top to here. Sorry about the noise in the background there there and there notice that by adding it from the top and then down i didn't have that weird shape but that's okay so i've got that fun shape and i've got this fun shape you can actually use multiple pieces and you can drag edges at a time so i can take this edge here drag it up i can add another box drag it down and i can grab this edge here alone grab and drag it if i can grab it there we go, put it there, take this, move it up to here, take this one and move it up to there. Cool. So that's pretty, pretty organized. It's close enough. All right, and then finally, I've got my last box that I'm gonna create there. Um, everybody probably has a ramp. Um, if you don't have a ramp, that's okay. 
Let's move that there. So that's pretty much the shape we want to stick to. All right, so I'm going to save this set, and now I've got my tile set created. So what I'm going to do from now is I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to create a tile map. A tile map is actually, let's call it level one tile map, right? Because it's not a tile set anymore. It's an actual map is a map based on your work. So right now there's only four spots. And remember, each one of these are only 16 pixels wide. So if I do that, hit save, close this, and then take this and drag it in, you'll notice that it is number one, kind of in a weird spot. I need to move it so it's in line with everything else. My, my character here is at 13.4. I'm gonna change it to negative, it was negative 13. I'm going to four. I'm going to make it negative 13. Uh, negative 13. Enter. Okay. And that means this tile map, I'm also going to move to negative 13 on Y. Negative 13. Boom. So now, if I take this and move it under my character, and I hit play, there we go. Notice, he's right on it. And if you look at it, he's just about perfectly sized for it. Okay? So... With that in mind, let's actually do some more work here. Let's double click on this. And now four across is pretty small. So let's change it to like 32. Okay, notice that gives me a lot more room to work with. And let's make it instead of four tall, let's make it 24 tall. Okay, cool. So now we have some verticality. I'm going to erase using the eraser tool up here. And now I'm going to grab one of my pieces and I'm going to paint with it. So let's say I don't want our character to fall. I'm going to paint across. Oops, look at that. Paint across, well, we can use that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. I painted across a, a flat level there, all right? And now remember, you've got these four tools up here. I say remember, but this, we've talked about it before back when we were working on our sprites, but we can actually do cool stuff with this. Now this, is a ramp that's going that way. But if I want to flip it and flip the brush horizontally, I can make it so it's a ramp going this way, right? So if I want to make some some uh, ramp that sort of ramps up this way, I can flip this one and there we go. I can even make it so that this piece here is an end. Or if I wanted to, I could just do this so that I've got that now you'll understand why I ended up making multiple different copies here because otherwise it looks really really repetitive right that sort of mixes and matches it up all right and now I'm going to do that down there and then grab this one and mix and match those a little bit so it's not quite as as obvious there all right so let's say I want this to end here, and then I'm going to put that there, and then maybe even do something like this, and that, and that. All right, and then I can erase this. Okay, so now I've got this weird ledge thing going on that then maybe we'll jump to a platform that's over in the middle of space somewhere. Let's make it too wide, and then I can flip this one, put it there, okay? So let's see if I can make that. So I'm going to save it, close it, and move it so that he can land. Actually, I'll just get rid of this and this, and take this and move it so it's in a logical place. All right, so now he's going to fall and land right there. So there's my tile map. Now, you'll notice my my collision there is pretty rough and we'll deal with that a little bit later but for now you can actually have the ability to create your very own tile map now here's what i want you to do go ahead and use your tile map that you created and i want you to create your own level that has has your character jumping up to the top okay so for instance you can start like this at the bottom and then maybe after this this jump they're going to 
maybe jump to another level that's further over here that is here and has this one and this is the same thing but different looking i'll flip that too i can flip it now it's a little less um repetitive put that there and i'm going to put that here and then use this and then flip this one right so we got that and then maybe all this is just death and then let's get maybe a really tough jumping spot we're going to jump there 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 and then we're going to end up here which then is a ramp get the bottom here I don't love that one I should have made that slightly different that's okay uh, that then maybe oops we'll do that down by two and then there this goes over So it's not perfect, but now I can just fill this in. Boop, 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 boop. And now I've got that ramp that kind of works. And I can save it and I can close it. And now here we go. Let's see if I can make those jump. Oh, my jump is too high. My speed is too fast, actually. Let's see if I can remember how we adjusted that. I'm going to adjust my speed again. So we can edit 2D Sides Roller right and we go to movement inherited and then go down here to character movement set my i'm going to set my gravity to one i feel like it's just way too fast um walk speed should be let's say 400 and then my walk speed here will be 200 or my walk speed crouched compile save close play Oof, my jump never got saved, apparently. So let's do that, too. Uh, movement. Jump, 600. Compile, save, close, play. Still way too high. There, I had to slow them down. Save. Um, go ahead and edit through here. Movement. Four hundred. File, save, close, play. Oh, I bet I know what it was. There. All right, cool. So now you can play with your own character controls. Hopefully you do better than I am. Um, it'll take a lot of tweaking to get it to where you just like it. Uh, but that's the basic layout for creating your own level. So your job now is to take all the different stuff we've learned this week and create your own level with your own sprite that can jump around and that can run and put it in a level of your own build. And now that we're done, I'm going to take all of this stuff, right? So I've got all this, yada, yada, I gotta move it a little faster. And I can move all this and you can get creative too. So for instance, like you want to get neat with your background and stuff, you can do that. You want to get, uh, actually, I don't really want to delete the background. I kind of like it for now. Um, you can get rid of all this, these extra pieces. You might, if you're, if you want to be nicer, um, you might want to set up you can, once again, all the stuff we learned in level creation, you can do again. Like you can do uh, a skybox and you can do lighting and all that other stuff so that you can adjust all that stuff. Um, you might just for testing for now, and this happens a lot in your tile map level, 
uh, instead of having all this death, you can just uh, save yourself some trouble and just be like, okay, I don't want to. I want to make sure I can make this jump, so I'm just going to make my life a little bit easier and put that there for now because it's really easy to save it. Do it there, hit play, and now I know that I. <laughs> if I was not terrible, uh, I guess I need more safety. There, I need a, a safety rail on the bottom because I'm a terrible player. But you get the idea. Anyway, so let's say I like this and I'm cool. I'm going to submit the source control, right? I've got our assets to check in. Uh, we're going to save selected. And we're going to add it uh, map uh, level one tile map. Submit. I think I spelled that right. And now... I'm done for this week, for today. I'm going to close this, uh, save everything. And now I should have, there we go. All of this is done. So I can go to my current branch. I've got all this. I'm going to commit my, my set. So I'm going to push to origin because I did a whole lot of updates, right? All right. So now history. Add level one tile map. All right. I don't know why that didn't commit before. All right, so we got a one commit to push. Push that up. Shouldn't be any bad problems. So now there we go. So if I look at my history, uh, there is a tile set you asked that that I had to rename or something. It's fine. Oh, that's because of the other level. All right, cool. So now everything's been pushed up and now I should be able to take your branch, download your branch and play your character and jump around. It'll be great. All right. So that's it for this, uh, this assignment and uh, I'll see you next time.